Hello again and welcome back. Uh, you know what we're doing today. We're doing the floor. But uh, yeah, let me, uh, I guess, show you how we're going about that. New compressor, yay! And for all those uh, people asking me to tooth or feather these boards in, essentially this is going to be a different style floor in here anyways, and I'm gonna put a screw through that on this end, which will be covered by a transitional piece. So that won't actually be a problem. So, but you see that's why I'm not, I'm trying to stagger my joints here and stuff like that. It's because that's what you're supposed to do, but I can't go under the walls because the walls are sitting on the floor. So that's kind of why we have to do it that way. So uh, by this point, you should all know the drill, time-lapse inbound. run into another bit of a snag not necessarily with the floor um, but I think I, I've told you guys that I've uh, we put a new flat roof on the building uh, the mansard still has some problems with leaking and stuff like that but I have a guy contracted to do all that he's just one of the best guys around to do it and so I have to wait for him to become available to do it but our flat roof contractor is uh, well <laughs> it's not been good we still have leaks uh, which you shouldn't have with a brand new roof. And uh, let me show you guys the, <laughs> the stupidity of this guy. So we were working in here and I know I've mentioned to you guys that up here against this wall, right up there, it has been leaking, has been leaking for a while. That's why we have so much damage down here. It's because this area kept getting water on it for a while. And so, you know, flat roof should, or new roof should solve the problem, right? Yeah, no. Um, and the reason why, well, I guess let me take you guys to the third floor and I'll show you the reason why. All right guys, so here we are on the third floor and let me show you why, why this is leaking. So this here, new TPO roof, around this window, it didn't go all the way around. That's just really, really soft, you know, caulk. And you can't do that. And this part of the roof already leaked. I mean, see all the flex in that? Water's already underneath there. And this was already leaking. And then when you add just trash on top of it, well, that doesn't solve any problems. So continual leaking. I mean, there's still a gap here. I mean, I guess I'll put my finger down there, you know? The gap here, there's a gap here. Yeah, I can still get my finger under there. And actually all the way up this, I can get my finger in there. All the way up this outside portion here. I don't wanna stick my camera out there because it's raining at the moment. And as you can see, we got a little snow this week, which is not helping our problem. Um, and then of course, oh well, let's really quickly say hello to Chippy. Hi Chippy, he's sitting in his throne. He's happy, he's dry, he's good. But here, this is where the mansard is. And you can see where there's no dust and that's because it's gotten wet. And you can also probably hear all the water dripping. It's dripping here, it's dripping up there. And while yes, this is kind of sort of part of the mansard, this is the part that's connected to it. That shouldn't be leaking anymore. Why it is, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I know one thing, <laughs> it probably has to do a lot with the guys who roofed. And this problem isn't just consisting in, in having a problem here. Of course, water goes down because of gravity. So let me show you what it's doing on the second floor. So here we are in the master bedroom, which is right above that area. And as you can see, I have two bins here and that's to catch the water that's coming through the crack up there. And as you can see, yeah, that's been wet. So, you know, that's another piece of the roof I had to take out. And I know I was gonna have to fix that anyways, but a persisting problem means, you know, the mantle gets wet. It means the tiles underneath all of this get wet. It means the trim on the, on the wall, the baseboards get wet. I mean, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I'm trying to preserve here. And I have to stop the bleeding to be able to preserve that. So, you know, when you buy a product, you hope that the product works. And in this case, this is one of those times where the product isn't working. <laughs> at all. Thing is too, is this wasn't the cheapest roofing contractor. This was the guy in the middle. I had four bids and this was the second lowest. So like, you know, and they're all about the same price. 
this guy came recommended, and uh, yeah, my thinking is though, if, if you, I knew this roof is, it's a difficult roof, it is. It's got the two story, the three story, there's old windows and weirdness, and there's certain ways I want it done, that way you don't see a bunch of white TPL from the street or from the back. And, you know, he cut corners, he had guys out here that I don't know if they knew what they were doing or not. I mean, well, I guess obviously not. And uh, it's a mess. Like, I'm just trying to, to keep the building dry. Like, that's square one. You gotta stop the bleeding. And, yeah, I don't know, I guess, um, vet your contractors, I guess, is, is more, well, I did even, you know. Vet your contractors really well when you hire them because uh, if there's one problem I've run into on not just this project, but many projects around the city, and I'm sure lots of people in the US and probably further along are running into the same problems, is that there's, good work's hard to find. Um, many people will tell you how great they are and how good they are, but they're really not. So try your best to, to vet people. Um, and I guess if all else fails, uh, you know, sometimes the only person you can trust is yourself to get the job done correctly. And that's why I feel so strongly about doing a lot of this myself. It's simply put, I don't trust a lot of people to come in here and work. Um, you know, same reason why I bought the building in the first place is I don't trust a lot of people to come in here and respect the, the history of the place. And um, yeah, it's uh, apparent to see a lot of people don't care either. <laughs> I know you guys do, and I appreciate you guys immensely. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I guess, get back to the floor. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get that done for you guys today still. We'll just have to catch water on top of the new floor, which will be fun, but I need that floor done, so even if I have to fix it again later, which hopefully I don't, um, we're going to get it done. So back to some more time lapse and all that stuff, but you guys are on the journey with me, so I figured I would share this with you guys as well. All right, bye. Um, so last night, as I'm sure you saw, we did miss a little bit of the time lapse. That's because I was trying to charge the camera and run the camera and that didn't work out so hot. So sorry you missed that little tiny bit. I'm sure it was only like four seconds for you guys, but here is the floor. As you can see, some boards have gone down and they're quite a different color than that. So you can see the difference. There they go. Uh, not super pleased with this little gap here. I mean, you're not really supposed to run two boards together like that, but this board is still sitting under this wall, so I just didn't want to mess with it. Now, as far as this is concerned, it's a perfect spot to go ahead and run a transition piece right here, uh, because again, I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen with all these floors anyways. And this is the subfloor, everybody, but so, and then this will definitely be different, because so a transition piece and this flooring is going something different because this pine flooring would have never been exposed in these grander rooms, especially in this room. I mean, this is like one of the nicer bedrooms. So it, this, this floor just wouldn't be in here. It wouldn't be part of this whole thing. So this floor is going, I think I'm gonna put oak on top of it, like thin strips of oak, and just go ahead and top nail it because that's actually what they did in the parlor downstairs. So it will match. Um, yeah, and I actually did top nail this as well, mostly because the tongue is facing this way. And for my little gun that I have, my flooring nail gun, the tongue would have to be pointing the other way so I could tap it in there. So I just top nailed it, but there are examples of top nailing all over this house, so that's okay. Uh, the other reason I haven't been feathering things in is because of the size of the nails that are in the flooring. These are those square nails. And uh, yeah, they don't give. Uh, they're really, really tough to cut with a blade too. So even a steel cutting blade. So they're just rather difficult to get out. So that's uh, another reason why we're not feathering these in. So yeah, uh, I guess time-lapse inbound and uh, here's Kim. So yeah, enjoy another time-lapse.
right guys, so that's the end of our day today. Let me go ahead and show you what we've done. Also note, very dark in here because it's dark outside, but as you can see, most of the hall's back together. Now, this area over here, we're not quite there yet, but uh, we'll get it there at some point. Um, next weekend, I'm assuming we'll uh, go ahead and finish this off, but because I don't have my table saw, I can't get stuff like this little sliver in right there which I can make that cut with my table saw, but I don't have it with me. Uh, same thing for this. I need to just trim a little bit of a piece off and then we'll put the, the edge, the stair edge over it. Um, so yeah, um, I guess questions bef answers before I can get the question. Uh, what I was using to put the floor down, uh, that little glue gunky stuff is just that it's subfloor glue. It'll help the uh, floor not creak as much. And uh, again, don't worry about these little areas. Those are going to be transitions anyways, because this floor is not going to, well, I think, I don't know about this floor yet. This will probably stay this, but in here in the better bedroom and even in here, those two uh, floors are going to be something different. We're not going to keep this pine down because it's just not grand enough for the house. Doesn't make any sense. So you see Kim getting the last little bit out of here and uh, yeah, that's what we got going, but it looks pretty good. You can see obvious transitions between the old stuff and the new stuff. This stuff's much stronger. This stuff I still need to put some uh, wood hardener on, which I bought today, but I wanna let this dry out or hit it with some heat or something and make sure there's absolutely no moisture in it before I hit it with that stuff. That way I can get the best results out of it. But yeah, we got a nice sturdy place for uh, the radiator once we get a new one to replace this. Uh, that one was missing by the way, so we didn't move it or anything. It's just not here. So yeah, that's what we got left. Just a little corner over there. So, you know, theoretically I could get things out of the bathroom without much of an issue, but we're definitely going to fix this issue here first. So yeah. And then next week guys, I'm gonna be here working for one day and then I actually have a road trip to go pick up a pretty cool item in Arkansas, which isn't too far away. But uh, so you're gonna get a little bit of work next weekend and a little bit of a road trip to go pick up something really cool for the house. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Have a fantastic one and we'll see you then. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching today's video. I just wanna let y'all know that this past Thursday we were supposed to go live on YouTube and we were not able to because we had technical difficulties. So now we will be live this coming Thursday, February 4th at 8 p.m. Central. So we hope you'll be able to join us. If you're not able to join us, please leave your questions down below in the comments and we will print them out and get to them and answer them with your name so you'll know where you're at. And we hope you're able to join us, okay? Thanks so much. We'll see you then.